Hi guys, happy new year. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ohina Bejuan. If it's your first time coming, welcome. If you're already a part of this family, well, happy new year. How are you doing? Um, hope all is well with you. Um, I'm also fine as you can see everything is okay and I've got this lapel mic. I thought I would use it but no Someone has to teach me so until then <laughs> I've had it for a long time. I'm not going to say how long because it's embarrassing but yeah We'll work on it ASAP. It's going to be part of my immediate goals. I promise so guys welcome again hope all is well with you um as i said already happy new year i'm so excited and i've missed you all so um let's get straight to this video um every single year i do have my word of the year and last year i shared it with you it was intentional so it was more about um being more conscious about everything that i was going to do last year and all that um, so I, th I did it at the beginning of the year so this year um, my video is inspired mainly by a podcast I've been listening to and I'll link it right there so that you see what the name is but I've been listening to it on Spotify and it's got Courtney and Renee they are two young ladies at, and they inspire me a lot they talk about different things so if you're interested you can go check them out so yeah um as i said so this um my word of the year which is not actually a word but it's a question um was inspired by a particular podcast they did on passion and pay so in this podcast they basically talked about how um especially coming from um african families or coming from because um, one of them's parents are Ghanaian or something and you always had this um should I say standard or they had this idea that you had to do this career these particular careers or some particular careers were termed as you know careers like real jobs you know something that pays and if you're a Ghanaian you know if you're African you know it has to be doctor lawyer uh, what else architect you know all these kind of jobs yeah banker accountant you know those jobs that have those names yeah um, those are, are, are the the main jobs for most African families and so if you're not an accountant you are a lawyer if you're not a lawyer you're, it's always been like that and most um, so they talked about how most uh, parents would encourage their children to do that um, at the same time um, there's this idea of passion follow your passion follow what you love doing and most of the time we all know that we see following our passion like um, a, a path that usually would not pay as much and when we talk about passion um, the first thing that comes into mind usually is artists and artisans and people that have their own jobs and all that and usually we think that okay there's not too much money there so the main thing that's why I think that's why most parents would respect that those other jobs because they see them as stable so I think the stability is the difference so anyway Courtney and Renee talked about all these very interesting topics that I, I actually loved. I've listened to that podcast twice already. I actually started listening to them towards the end of last year. So what stood out for me was the fact that success in itself does not come um, through one channel. Or rather, there's no fixed blueprint for success that everyone should take and will end up successful. There's nothing like that. Success is a personal journey. Success is 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 reached and is quantified. Should I say that? Yeah, it's quantified um, differently depending on the individual and his or her circumstance. So success is not one picture for everyone. It's a different picture for everyone. And success is broad. It has to do with how you're feeling, your happiness, stability, and all that. So it's a mixture of different um, factors in our life and that that come together and form a successful human being it means that 
you don't necessarily reach success when you follow your passion neither do you necessarily reach path and um, um, success when you follow the pay or when you follow the money i don't think there's anything wrong with following your passion neither do i think there's anything wrong with following the money because we have to live and i think um if you live outside to pay gas bill rent this that that it's a lot so i think in such circumstances it's not about what you want to do but it's about what you have to do in order to survive in that moment let's be honest that's how things work and um, usually i'm not saying that if you are in your motherland and you don't pay rent but most of the time you stay with your family or something and it's just a little bit easier sometimes sometimes i'm not trying to be to generalize everything here but most of the time it's just a little bit easier so where you have things to do bills to pay i don't think it's always about passion so it's okay and actually renee and Courtney did mention it it's okay if you choose pay over passion in a certain moment and it's okay if you decide you know what i'm tired of following money but i want to do something i love either way um either way one doesn't necessarily mean success and one failure that's just that's just it the fact that i'm working to pay my bills um, in order to survive or in order to pull through a certain period of my life does not mean that I'm a failure in my personal life or with respect to my happiness. It's j it just means that I have to survive in that moment. And I just like how that sounds. It actually, it actually makes you free. It's like free of any sort of pressure, societal pressure. Because everybody is like passion, passion, passion here, passion there. And some people I'm sure would ask themselves, but what do I like to do? will ask themselves but I'm not ready to even pursue my passion because my passion needs to be funded my passion needs to be needs needs some sort of skill you know my passion needs some some elements that I'm not ready for or that I don't have yet and that is also fine we also have to note that the fact that one person chooses passion does not necessarily mean failure and People have different passions. That's also very important. People are passionate about finance. People are passionate about law. That is actually their passion. So I know you're just lucky if you end up with a stable job, which is also what you love. That is always perfect. Um, so with a job that brings in stable income every month, but it's also what you love to do. I think that is top, top, what everybody is trying to aim for. It's okay to choose either one of them or even both, or even both, where you say, okay, I choose um, to pursue this course or whatever it is, but at the same time, I'll start my little business on the side, where you say, okay, I'm going to start this, but then also start making some proposals here and there, I'm going to start this but also start my freelancing you know you can just choose anything you lo you want so long as it works for you and that brings me to my phrase of the year my word of the year which is what works for me what works for me i mean this <laughs> this for me is like everything this year because i'm also i'm going towards my late 20s yeah yeah and it's not easy to sometimes pull through some circumstances with so much of societal pressure because most of the time okay for example i have had to go to school right and give up a lot of working mm, that's just how my life has been so far so i've been schooling and maybe doing more of part times and that is what i want to do for now and so you hear people say you have to look for a job you have to do this you have to do that and sometimes it's a lot of pressure but at the end of at the end of it all the important thing is that it works for you it's important that you choose what works for your mental health what works for your finances in that moment what works for your happiness in that moment what works for your stability in that moment okay and i don't think I don't think the world is judging you and even if they do it's their business you know what i'm talking about 
what is important for you what makes you feel good i'm not saying go and do something bad and so long as it makes you feel good you know what i'm trying to say i'm talking about you know what makes you feel good in a positive way what makes you feel good in 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 the sense of a, a, a great mind space a great state of mind what doesn't make you feel pressurized that's what i'm talking sometimes about sometimes you would you would um oh, i'm noticing now you would open let's say a business and you realize that okay i need such and such experiences to be able to function well here so that's why i say there's no blueprint for success Someone might go work in the company for a while and then open their business and this would have given them so much experience, right? They would have acquired some, they would have acquired different skills over the years. Whereas launching your business right after school may be cool, but at the same time you have to learn the hard way. You know what I'm talking about. There's so much that you have to learn when you go into business. It's not only about your passion. <laughs> because there's a business aspect of everything. Which, of course, we cannot just um, put aside. You have to do it. You have to file for taxes. You have to do so many things that you will learn on the field. But maybe if you've learned it already, it's just easier. So, this proves that there's, there's not just one way to get to where we have to get to. You know and i think this is so important so going back to my word of the year or my phrase of the year, i don't even know what to call it whether word or phrase i can still say word of the year yeah. um what works for me i think it should be applied in every field whatever decisions we have to make this year i think we're supposed to think of how we feel about it and also coming from a year like 2020 i think it's very important to make such evaluations before taking some steps so it applies even to relationships it applies to um different spaces in which you find yourself at the moment or you will find yourself does this vibe work for me does this person work for me is this person um taking me where i want to go to or is it a no-no for me you know it's just about being honest with yourself as well because sometimes we really try to we try to match up to people's standards and match up to what people think we should be or the idea people have of us. Whereas um, that could actually be far from what we actually feel. We have to really stay in touch with ourselves, you know, stay in touch with our instincts, stay in touch with our spirituality if you are, if you believe, if you are religious. Or if you're christian like me stay in touch with what what works for you inside what makes you feel good what gives you inner peace is very very important so it's not just about career or jobs or something it's just about the choices we are making now and we'll make in the future you know it's just about the energies around us it's just about how much we're soaking in and also um, if you want to be productive, obviously, all these things matter because the vibe you have around you is very important if you want to be productive. The people you have around you are very important if you want to be productive or if you want to come out in a certain way. It's very important that we consider also um, changes around us. So it's not always about your passion. It's about what is going to work for you in that moment as well so that's why i say you know what works for me it's not only about what i want to do but what actually would give me that financial stability that i'm looking for you know right now the world is changing jobs are changing and we have to change as well so this is not where you can be you know rigid and all that this is where you, we have to be flexible so what works for me in this particular period even if i said oh i wanted to do open a business right let's say i wanted to open a business or do some freelance or whatever it is this is a difficult period this is a period when people don't go out as much we are in lockdown every month or so every couple of weeks we are back into lockdown so this may be an uncertain period and if i want to get a job in a supermarket because that is what is stable because the shops are open and everybody's eating ben venga as it tells to say why not you know i shouldn't feel pressurized in any way i can so long as i have that stability that i'm looking for 
you know and i'm saying this just to it it, it just applies in so many um environments i think this it should be something that everybody um adds to their decision making what works for me does it work for me in this moment does it make sense does, does such a choice make sense in this moment i think it's important i can't even repeat it enough i can't repeat it enough um i think it takes away so much burden from our shoulders especially as youngsters it takes so much from our shoulders and it helps a lot also apart from you adapting it's also important that whatever choice we make is going to help us grow is going to help us acquire new skills it's going to help us some way or the other get to where we're going to i think that is also important because i mean i'm so much into growth i don't think we should remain the same ever we constantly have to grow so that is very 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 vital so with that being said i think i'll be bringing the the whole video to an end i hope you enjoyed this video and um, i want to know what your word of the year is if you have one and what inspired you what inspired you to choose that word um, i hope we have a fruitful year i really hope that covid goes away goes back to wherever it came from in the meantime we'll just manage what we have we'll just make the best of what we have and be and continue to be the best version of ourselves as always bye love you